Imagine you own a four-star brunch restaurant. Every weekend, your business is packed to the brim. On social media, your food and your ambiance are heavily complimented. You are often congratulated on the success of your business. However, you occasionally receive some similar negative reviews and complaints. Your restaurant's four stars and its popularity, it speaks for themselves, so you decide not to do anything about it. But for how long will these factors hold? How long before your numerous consumers find another brunch restaurant to visit? How long before those four stars trail down to three or lower? You've already lost past customers, you're losing potential customers, your success quickly dies down. At such a high status, it was so easy to ignore simple issues. However, attending to such issues at a much earlier time is way more rewarding so that you can find yourself in a five-star restaurant. You might be saying, who are you and how do I know you know what you're talking about? Let me introduce ourselves. Goat Hospitality is built on hard work, dedication, knowledge, and 20 plus years of experience. Originating from a man named Uncle Goat. Uncle Goat was a prominent and well-respected restaurant consultant who passed away in early 2010. Goat Hospitality Consultants work independently with our clients from proposal through final presentation and implementation. Every client has direct and immediate access to their consultant. Goat Hospitality Consultants know that each assignment has its own scope and outcome expectations. Our management team is committed to helping those seeking consulting assistance. We ensure the best possible match with one or a team of our consultants. As experts in our own disciplines, Go Consultants are committed to providing practical, affordable services, as well as practicing a hands-on approach. Since the beginning, our consultants practice the highest ethical and professional standards. We help local hospitalities become the greatest of all time by executing their core values into their businesses. Here's our team. We have Tian Green as our president, Mary Bennett as our executive analyst, Tara Brock, who's VP of sales, Princess Freeman as our business analyst, and Kayla Turner as our senior service director. Now as for myself, my name is Yoreli Hernandez and I am a Chief Operations Officer at GO. After interning and working up to full-time employment for three years, I have built my career so that my everyday task is to encourage growth and to meet visions and goals. I have worked with various clients, from Michelin restaurants to mom and pop diners. This has allowed me to learn to adjust to different circumstances whether it be customer target market, staff sizes, industry type, or etc. I have worked with clients who wanted to strengthen their image at various levels, including social media and locally. I do so by focusing on their brand and how they want to appear in the customer's eyes. I work to improve staff's customer service and general communication by using the same training that I apply to our own employees. I see positive results of holding group and individual training in our company as well as in our clients' restaurants. As an operations officer, I understand that you want to ensure that you will not waste resources to possibly reach your goals. My experience has allowed me to practice trial and error a long time ago. Based on clients' continuous success, after working with me, I know what works without wasting time, money, or effort. Allowing someone to come in and cause changes can be anxiety-inducing. The what-ifs can single-handedly cause you to lose an opportunity. But as a member of Goal Consulting, your goals and successes become mine. You can ensure that you will be met with achievement and strong support to help improve your restaurant or a restaurant like The Breakfast Boys. The Breakfast Boys is a similar restaurant to the one mentioned in the beginning. 
This four-star brunch restaurant is in College Park, Georgia. The restaurant is still new and has been in business for only two years. However, the restaurant's current menu, which features southern seafood meals, has attracted a large clientele. Some delicacies include lobster mac and cheese, pineapple upside down French toast, and crispy catfish shrimp and grits. While the food captivates the customers, and the ambiance is what gets them to stay, the restaurant loves to celebrate with music and even occasionally invites DJs. Although the restaurant has made a good name for itself, the Breakfast Boys was met by an initial challenge by setting down on Main Street, a street full of brunch-focused locations. One restaurant is the Real Milk and Honey, which has a similar menu to the Breakfast Boys. Unlike most restaurants, this brunch place will not allow modifications to their foods, reservations to a table, or a bigger party than four. Johnny's World Famous Chicken and Waffles is another competitor. This restaurant is open in multiple locations, including College Park, Georgia, Glendale, Arizona, and is working on opening in Midtown Atlanta. Like the Breakfast Boys, Johnny celebrates art by hanging platinum albums from various singers and original artwork. While the other two restaurants use seafood, Johnny uses chicken. As they are all on the same street, it is easy for customers to jump from restaurant to restaurant, making competition extremely tense. Although these competitors are similar to the Breakfast Boys, this restaurant's success does not come from luck. Reviews are clear views into a customer's mind. They state what they love, dislike, and what should be kept or changed. One of the Breakfast Boys' strengths is the attentive, personable, and polite servers. Many reviews mention their servers by name and compliment their recommendations. By recommending, servers show an understanding of the menu. Many reviews also compliment the ability to reserve tables. It allows them to skip the wait thanks to a little preparation, especially during the weekend when it is most packed. Staff also does an excellent job of holding their tables and not accidentally giving it away during the most busiest of times. And of course, the food is also applauded. Some common adjectives in the reviews are tasty, flavorful, and pure heaven. Many of the reviews feature personal recommendations for some of the dishes. Although these compliments can make any business owner feel great about themselves, Let's not forget about the issues that some customers find. The Breakfast Boy's weakness is common for any restaurant. One issue many patrons have is takeout. One customer comments that the box used for takeout allows the food to mix together during travel. Another area for improvement is remembering to add the entire order to the takeout bag. When the customer asks for an accommodation, the server sometimes forgets to follow with what was asked. This can be extremely dangerous if the customer has a certain type of allergy or health issues that food can affect. This can also become a legal liability for the restaurant. The most popular criticism is parking. Most customers are familiar with the free street parking around the restaurant. However, it serves as a first-come, first-serve situation, and most are unaware of the paid parking option. Lousy parking can discourage potential customers from stopping by. As we have recognized some issues, finding solutions should be much easier. It is essential for a business owner to pay attention to their reviews. Reviews show what is keeping customers and what is also pushing them away. Like the Breakfast Boys, their competitors struggle with parking as they are on the same street. Reviews also show why some customers prefer certain restaurants. 
even though the location and the industry may be very similar. Many reviews comment on the real milk and honey's food. They claim it is too bland. Meanwhile, the Breakfast Boys customers love the amount of seasoning and the amount of flavor added to the food. Most of the Breakfast Boys' strengths are Johnny's World famous chicken and waffles weaknesses. This includes boring servers, an ominous atmosphere, and bad food. Thanks to online reviews, businesses can compare themselves to their competitors and see where they stand. Although these restaurants are all in the same industry, it is clear that the Breakfast Boys has more effective strengths than Johnny's World's famous chicken and waffles. However, it is around the same level as the real milk and honey. With these two, the quality of food is the significant difference and deciding factor. Although there are weaknesses, it is pretty straightforward to switch them from a bad thing to a good thing. Recommendations from myself and reviews can help bring positive modifications that will change the business from good to outstanding. And it'll have a 5 star average to prove it. Opportunities for change are easy to figure out once weaknesses are identified. Although it is surprising when a server can memorize orders, the shock can turn extremely negative when the customer's food comes out nothing what they wanted. An easy fix is to have servers write down people's orders and to ask the right questions. For example, if there are expected changes, such as the way eggs are cooked, the server should make sure and ask. The server should also repeat the order and emphasizing vocally on any recommendation. A solution to this and a potential takeout issue is to look at the order and ensure that it is correct. Although the server sent in the order correctly, there is still room for error from the back of the house. A quick look can avoid an unsatisfied customer. Another opportunity is to broaden their menu to include chicken dishes. As stated, Johnny's world famous chicken and waffles does not live up to its name. By adding chicken dishes to the menu, the restaurant can attract the unsatisfied chicken loving market. Communication is a great way to share information. Although many are aware of the public street parking, they are also unaware of the paid parking option. The restaurant can change this by adding parking signs and adding directions to the parking spot. Threats are essential to consider. It sets a restaurant apart badly and can cause customers to avoid it. No matter how many defenses are put in place, Human error is always a factor that should be considered. In the restaurant industry, it is much better to have accountability and to look for a solution instead of trying to shut down the situation as soon as possible. If an order is ever placed wrongly, someone must always apologize and take note of their mistake. A free dessert is also a good option to leave a sweet taste in the customer's mouth. Parking can be a very frustrating thing, especially when there are hungry people in a rush to eat. If hungry customers find parking closer to another restaurant, it is very unlikely that they'll walk down all the way to the breakfast boys. A solution is to introduce valet parking. Many individuals are willing to pay extra to avoid the stress of finding parking and then walking back to the restaurant. This would also set the breakfast boy apart, as no other restaurant has found a solution to this parking problem. The extremely large, brunch-loving population can be difficult to deal with. Seeing that the business is full of positive reviews and success, demanding customers can come in expecting to be treated at the most utmost standard while treating others very wrongly. To add insult to injury, they can go online and exaggerate their visit to ultimately taint the business's image. It is important to practice patience in these situations and to discredit their statements. Responses must be created cautiously as there is a fine line between defending and damaging oneself. 
If the patron continues discouraging others from visiting with lies, the owner can contact the review websites to ban this account. Threats can be the most intimidating as they are more likely to push customers away. However, solutions can be found by being attentive to what reviewers are saying. Here is a short chart of what we have described so far. The Breakfast Boy strengths include personable and knowledgeable servers, the ability to have table reservations, and tasteful food that sets it apart from other brunch locations. Meanwhile, the weaknesses are takeout presentations, satisfying accommodations, and having suitable parking. Some opportunities are order taking training, extending the menu, and communicating about parking. Threats are the loss of customer loyalty, competitor parking, and dishonest customers. In summary, reviews can make or break a restaurant. They can encourage people to pop in or push people away. A business owner should check the reviews at least once a week to see what their customers like, dislike, and ensure that no lies are being attached to the restaurant's image. Business owners should also review their competitors' reviews. This way, they can check if they have the same issues or if there are leverages against the competitors. A high average of stars encourages more customers to pop in, extending the list of clientele. I thoroughly enjoyed researching the Breakfast Boys, seeing where the customers stand, and discussing recommendations that will surely bring success. These ideas will help with the restaurant's image, forms of communication, and customer service that will attract more customers. Again, my name is Aureli Hernandez. You can call me at 770-900-2468 or through email at ureli.hernandez at goathospitality.com. If you want to check us out more before reaching out, our website is www.goathospitality.com. At Go Hospitality, we like to give something to our audience to remember us. We have a convenient pop socket and AirPod case for technology users. We also have a goat plushie that represents our mascot. Please do not hesitate to contact for further questions or concerns. Thank you for your time.